Okay, so here's the scenario. Let's say you just came into some money, some disposable income we'll call it, from a scratch off or an app you invented, or from your favorite Aunt Millie. There we go. And after you've paid down your student loan, you now have enough left over to finally purchase that beautiful new 4K UHD TV. But before you make that hasty online purchase, perhaps a little due diligence is in order. Ask yourself this question. How much do you really know about 4K UHD TVs? Have you done enough research so you can make an informed decision when you decide to buy? Okay, so it goes without saying that television sets have come a long way since they were first commercially sold in 1928. Today, engineers from all over the globe are working diligently to design bigger and better TVs, all meant to enhance the viewing experience. Here now are the three biggest things that you should take into consideration when making your purchase. Size, how many colors can be reproduced, and contrast. First, the size. Today's high definition televisions have been purposely designed with a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, which is similar to that of a movie screen. The image for these sets is comprised of a fixed number of pixels little red, green, and blue rectangles that all together make up the images we perceive when viewing the screen. These pixels are uniformly grouped in a dense grid of horizontal rows and vertical columns. A high definition TV has 1920 horizontal pixels and 1080 vertical pixels. When multiplied together, you get just over 2 million pixels or two megapixels, all gloriously glowing together to give you a gorgeous picture. Now, be aware, in some stores, this measurement of pixels is also referred to as resolution. So don't let that throw you, okay? The standards for all things TV and cinema are set by the Society of Motion Picture and Television Engineers, also known as SIMPTI. The television you're most interested in is a 4K TV which is sometimes called an ultra high definition or UHD TV. A television with a resolution of 3840 by 2160 is called UHD1. Technically speaking, UHD1 has four times the number of pixels compared to your old TV. So, to fully take advantage of this improved resolution, your TV should be positioned at a distance between one and a half and three times the height of your screen. More pixels means that you can sit closer to the TV or buy a bigger one. 3840 is not 4K. You're right, it's not. The truth of the matter is this, that the cinema industry has a different standard and a different resolution than a television. They use a resolution of 4096 pixels wide by 2160 pixels high. That 4096 number is where the 4K moniker comes from. What a spectacular view. If only the colors that we could see in person could be reproduced in the same way on our TVs. Well, today's engineers and manufacturers are doing just that. The move from HD TV to UHD TV Engineers participating with SIMPTI have really pushed to have the next generation of TVs be not only about more pixels and resolution, but more colors as well. The small gray triangle encapsulates the color space of HD TV. Next, this black triangle shows the extended color space for UHD TV. In essence, the new UHD TVs offer a more saturated, vivid picture. It's like your old TV used watercolors, and UHD TV offers the rich, bold, saturated colors of an oil painting. They will not use that yourself. And last on our list, extending the contrast, which leads to high dynamic range. High dynamic range offers a wider range of contrast between the whitest whites and the blackest blacks. It has the potential to increase the range of colors resulting in brighter, richer, more lifelike images. Here are two samples of high dynamic range. 
This first picture is a still image taken from a high definition TV broadcast. As you can see, the picture is not very striking. But this next picture incorporates high dynamic range from a UHD TV, and you can clearly see more depth and detail in all the areas of bright whites, deep blacks, and the areas in between. Now, all of a sudden, with that tremendous range between the whites and the blacks, you're able to have in your living room a reasonable representation of what the real world looks like. Now, it should be noted that SIMPTI is currently creating high dynamic range standards so that image consistency will be maintained on all televisions. So, when you eventually step into the TV section of your favorite store and you see high dynamic range in person, trust me, you'll know what I mean immediately. The images are breathtaking and literally pop off the screen. The future is ultra high definition. So, when you're looking at UHD TVs, you'll want to make sure that you pick up a television set that incorporates all of the things that are being standardized by SIMPTI. Look for a set with higher resolution, one that has expanded colors and high dynamic range. And remember, the increased pixel count of a UHD TV allows you to sit closer or buy a larger TV. These attributes are certain to increase the overall pleasure of your home viewing experience. Today's televisions are revolutionary in their science, engineering, and design. And somewhere out there, there's one just right for you.